Hello everyone. Have a nice day to you all. Today we are going to learn a new lesson in grade 7 science. So what is the lesson? So it is in the whiteboard. You can see fourth lesson functions of water. Water. So now you are in grade 7. So in previous classes you have learned many things about water no the uses of water the status of water there are three status of water solid liquid and gas and and how to protect how to conserve water conservation methods there are a lot of things about water to all know about these things so here in this lesson in grade 7 we are going to learn about functions functions of water here we are going to learn about mainly three functions okay so first function is water as a solvent so think about this one you all know the sea water is salty taste so what is the reason for that the sea water is salty taste because the most of the salt dissolved in the sea water. There are many salts in sea water. That is the reason for salty taste in uh, sea water. It's terrestrial animals take oxygen from the atmosphere. So in the atmosphere there are oxygen. But inside the water how the animals take uh, oxygen to breathe. This is the reason because the oxygen dissolved in sea water. Uh, not only sea water, in the water oxygen is dissolved. So, solvent. So, water as a solvent means in Sinhala, draw a gunea. You can put a dia venama. Dia vima. Yam yam deva dia vima tamai solvent. That means water as a solvent. So, water is a very good solvent so in day to day life it is very important this this property this function is very important in our day to day life when we are using water so salts are dissolved in water so that's why the sea water is salt taste get salt taste then fish use oxygen that is dissolved in water so oxygen dissolved in water because of that, the animals inside the water can take oxygen. So, this is because water acts as a solvent. Okay. Now, uh, you have to do an activity. Activity 4.1. Page number 54. Turn to page number 54. Uh, that's an activity. So, page number 55. You can see that's the table. This is the table. There are two columns, substance and observation. So there are many substances. You can do this activity in your home. Uh, you can take uh, what are the things in your home? White sugar, glucose, condensed crystals, surgical spirit, coconut oil, laundry blue, paraffin wax, kerosene, common salt, vinegar, like that. There are some substances you can use. What are the things in your home? Then, uh, you have to dissolve them separately in water. And observe what happened. You can observe in sugar, glucose, kerosene, kerosene me, boom there. Then laundry blue, nilkudu. Then comfort ball, kapuru. Then sodium bicarbonate, that means apple soda. So, you can dissolve these things separately and you can observe. Uh, you can observe some substances completely dissolve in water and some substances partially dissolve. Then some substances are not dissolved. So, in here, most substances are dissolved in water. So, you can do the activity and com you can complete this table. Okay, so not only oxygen gas dissolved in water.
there are many gases dissolved in water oxygen carbon dioxide like that okay and so in assignment 4.2 you have to write some difficulties face when there is no water to kitchen so it is very difficult to do our day to day activities in kitchen without water so you cannot wash the dishes you cannot make tea and other drinks you cannot you cannot wash the food vegetables and fruits you cannot wash you cannot even cook so water is very very valuable thing no. second one the hydroponic cultivation so have you heard about hydroponic cultivation so hydroponic means we are using a water media other than using soil to uh, cultivate a crop crop mean a plant to to plant a crop to plant a crop here we are using water media that's that is called hydroponic cultivation simply so here uh, this is a pot and there's a lid uh, there's a hole in the lid to plant uh, the crop so you can see there are that this is the roots so the roots are in water in media so the plants need nutrients so we can we can put the nutrients and fertilizers to this this media that mean water the media is water so we can add nutrients and fertilizers here so the nutrients and fertilizers are dissolved in water and absorbed by the roots uh, absorbed by the roots to the plant so this is very special thing and here we are using the solvent property of water so the function of solvent the water as a solvent this is very valuable okay now you know importance of water but here you should know importance of water as a solvent solvent take up with here to come at the water important when so first one make to make drinks when making drinks the water is must we need water then to add colors for drinks to add colors so when you uh, when you are going to shop there are different kinds of drinks which has different colors red uh, red orange yellow uh, and green there are different colors so to dissolve these colors so water is important third one to dissolve salts when cooking meals so cooking meals you are adding salt so to get taste of the meal so salt should be dissolved so water is important that to dissolve concentrated acid in water so when we are making the solutions the meals, the solutions of acids is important to dissolve concentrated acid in water you know uh, in a simple cell we put dilute sulfuric acid so to make dilute sulfuric acid we get concentrated sulfuric acid and add water so water is important in dissolve concentrated acid then dissolve medicine so dissolving medicine it is important then remove dirt in your clothes so to remove the dirt in your clothes it is important and for aquatic animals to get oxygen for their breathing it is important to aquatic animals last one hydroponic cultivation we discussed earlier so it is for what is important in hydroponic cultivation to dissolve fertilizers nutrients and other things
Water as a solvent is important also to separate the materials from water that dissolve in water. So there are some uses of separating materials dissolved in water. So you all know uh, in previous practicals we have discussed about there are a lot of materials are dissolved in water. So we can separate those materials and make new things. So there are many uses of separating materials dissolved in water. So you know to make soap in our previous practical we have discussed about how to make salt. So in uh, you know rivers, streams, lakes all these water bodies are flowing to the sea. So the most dissolved salt in water is sodium chloride. So how can we make salt if we can operate sea water by exposing to the sunlight. We can operate water from sea water to expose to sunlight. Second one is we can make sugar. How can we make sugar? We take sugar cane to make sugar. We can grind the sugar cane and take the juice. So this juice contains sucrose. Then uh, we can remove the water from this, uh, from the solution which can take by uh, grinding the sugar cane and we can remove the water and we can take, we can make sugar. Then third one, we can make chicken. So look, look at your book. That is a picture, a coconut tree used to get sweet toddy. So what is sweet toddy? Do you know in coconut tree there is a flower, coconut flower. So from the coconut flower we can take a sugary solution. We told it that sweet toddy. So what is trickle? Trickle means tani. We can make a bit of tani We can remove some amount of water from this sweet toddy. Me sweet toddy again some amount. Patrutika, a bit of iron curl, pullo mapadana, tricker, tanya than the pullo. Then to make jaggery, jaggery me hakuru. So we can remove the water totally from the sweet toddy. So here to make both trickle and jaggery, we need sweet toddy. Sweet toddy. So sweet toddy is taken from the coconut flower. The sugar solution taken from the coconut flower we call sweet toddy. Removing uh, totally water totally from that uh, sweet toddy we can make jaggery. So it is very important separating materials dissolved in water to make some, some things. So there are many uses.